Exercise is medicine. Well, exercise is kind of like almost a wonder drug in that it affects all aspects of the body from the muscles and circulation to the brain and its functions. When you're in a university that's dynamic and exciting like University of California at Irvine, uh, you're able to find the collaborators that you need to do the kind of multidisciplinary work that will really inform advances in the science. The Center for Exercise, Medicine, Sports Sciences is not a brick and mortar center, but it's a virtual center. It brings together faculty from around the campus who are interested in physical activity, both from a basic science standpoint as well as the way it translates to human health and how physical activity may also be a very potent modifier of disease. And so uh, the faculty who affiliate from, with the center are from the School of Medicine, Engineering, Social Sciences. We work with uh, the School of Fine Arts with programs in dance. We work with rehabilitation. Within the School of Biological Sciences, uh, there's myself. I mean, I'm working on trying to redefine what concussion is. And what I mean by that is that concussion is defined by symptoms. You get a head impact, an impact of the head, and you, you, vision is blurred, or you get a headache, or you're dizzy. We're not, under, we're not studying concussions per se. We're actually trying to redefine the definition of concussion, and we're redefining it by understanding the underlying physiological changes that occur with repeated head impacts. UCI is a great place to study exercise uh, because we're, we are a very multidisciplinary campus, and we are a very entrepreneurial campus. And my lab's focused on robotics technologies for rehabilitation after stroke and spinal cord injury. So for example, we had a student who was a musician and we developed the wearable sensing glove and he had the idea to connect the glove to uh, Guitar Hero. And so one of my favorite research results of all time is we gave it to 17 stroke patients, asked them to do a certain amount of training, several, like a thousand repetitions per week. The first week we asked they did what we asked, but then after that, they did even double, triple, uh, showing kind of this uh, incentivized nature of the game. Well, I think that, uh, you know, the Pediatric Exercise and Genomics Research Center has really been a model, you know, for how the campus as a whole could mobilize to address exercise. I mean, we were one of the, probably the first center uh, to focus on exercise, on lifestyle. The Pediatric Exercise and Genomics Research Center, also known as PERC, was established a few years ago as a hub for researchers who are interested in studying exercise as medicine using the most advanced technologies and innovating approaches. PERC was selected to be the only pediatric clinical center in a very large and ambitious NIH initiative. MotorPEC, the molecular transducers of physical activity. The overall goal of MotorPEC is to characterize the molecular maps in response to physical activity in all age groups. From the pediatric perspective, including children in MotorPEC, opens for us the opportunity to potentially transform the field of pediatric exercise science and the way we are going to prescribe exercise both for healthy children and for children with clinical conditions. One of the things that you see, Irvine, there's a, a number of faculty here that have had a big impact on the field of exercise science. Carl Kotman was the person who discovered that during physical activity that there was a compound released in the brain called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, and it stimulates neurogenesis, the making of new neurons in the hippocampus. And the hippocampus is the part of the brain that is involved in memory and memory formation. And so we have a clinical trial ongoing now where we're enrolling 300 people across the nation in an exercise study called EXERT to look at how exercise will help them uh, cognitively and health-wise. And then we're also doing it with the YMCAs. And this is an innovative part of the whole program because having a study done and just reporting in the scientific literature is fine but you need to get it into the community and get it practiced. The Center for Exercise, Medicine, Sports Sciences, also one of, the, one of the goals was to develop a undergraduate major. Our undergraduate major in Physiology and Exercise Sciences uh, targets a small group of students who are passionate about studying exercise and the benefits of physical activity for human health. An aspect of our program that's unique is the emphasis on comparative physiology. So studying other animals to understand better our own bodies. 
Training the next generation of exercise scientists is important because many of them will be our doctors and physical therapists in the future. This is the best place from the support of the leadership and all the way from our staff and faculty and the students that are supporting us. This is really the best place that we can do research.